good morning. I am Suket Amin. I am co-founder of Sunbots, and we are a technology company and an impact startup. So everybody today, uh, if you see around, right, people wear glasses. Very normal, like me, I'm wearing a glass. But imagine if I had to take out the glass and do my regular routine, reading a book, accessing a computer. I can do it, but it's still challenging. Now take one step further. If I don't have the glasses, and if I'm not able to see at all, my life would be totally different. I'll not be able to do a lot of things that I'm doing currently. My walking around, my eating habits would be different. I'll be so much dependent on others. And the toughest part is education. So all this are a bigger problem that a people with visual disabilities face in the world. You know, there are millions of blind and visually impaired who suffer, maybe not intentionally, but they don't have access to schools, colleges, work. And that is where AI has been helping them. So AI today has been helping them in identifying objects, knowing what is around them, even uh, to some extent assisting them in reading. But that is all about to go to next level with introduction of generative AI. So imagine you are at a table and you take a photo and it describes what is served on your plate. How easy that becomes for a person to simply have his meal easily. Imagine today he takes a shower, comes out, takes a photo of his wardrobe, and it describes what are the clothes that uh, are there on his wardrobe. What is the kind of designs are there? And he can pick them, and he can wear and go out confidently. So this is where AI has been helping. Now imagine if you are going to a restaurant, and you are sitting at a restaurant, and you have to currently ask someone to read out a menu for you. Now you just have a simple uh, photograph taken, or a digital menu that is very much common in these days. And the AI will read out to you what are the options. And you can simply ask, yeah, what is an option for soup? What is the price of tomato soup? And that easiness for a person to do things independently has been built using technology. Now, two major uh, problems that the uh, people with visual disabilities face. One is the education. Right? Today, they have very limited access to uh, content. Let's say, even if you're in your school, right? if you have any person with visual disability, you'll need someone to help him read out or write an exam, or also understand if there are any diagrams or charts. So AI has been, built, uh, AI has been uh, using it to you know, make this content accessible. So let's say you have a page with a diagram that is explaining a concept of physics. You take an image. It will describe that in an audio form to you. Now, the AI also enables you to ask questions. So if you don't understand anything, you can simply ask, and the AI will give you a response. So you are emitting uh, you know, dependency of yours on someone else's. So that way, AI has been making you independent. Let's say uh, today you get a WhatsApp, an image. right? So what you can do is there are uh, softwares available where you upload that image, and it will describe what is there. It will tell you the colors. It will tell you what is an action happening, what is written. And all this happens in multilingual. So any language that you select, that response does come to you. So it is a very inclusive uh, software, very inclusive technology that has been made available. The second problem, workplace. Right? Less than 1% of uh, visual disabilities people ever get a job. And that is a very alarming situation in, across the world. So that's where today we're building technologies that you know, enable a blind to very easily fit into an, uh, an institution or an organization, can outperform, you know, can make tasks simple. So for example, let's say uh, if you are an HR uh, person, you're employed at an uh, office where your role is HR. So you scan through resumes. So you can now upload those uh, documents onto the AI. The AI will give you a description of that entire resume, and you can interact, and you can ask, what is the work experience? Which college did he go? What are his grades? And the machine will only give you those relevant information that is required for you to take a decision. Now, how we can scale this is what we are going to go into next level. And that is where young entrepreneurs come in. Next, uh, business leaders come in where technology integration happens from the start. People build solutions that help everybody at every level of the society. Now, the, another challenge that you may ask is, in your daily life, how do you actually access the AI itself? So there are multiple ways that are available. The first is your phones. 
phones are very powerful and they can have applications that can enable you to get real time access. The other options are smart glasses. So the smart glasses come with camera that take images and give you a description so you don't have to take out your phones also. Now at workplace you may say that cloud computing is a challenge. So what you have is a screen reading software. So your entire computer becomes accessible for them. And now that you may ask is that how can they actually use the computers? So they have very specific skill set given to use the computers just you know without the mouse. So you don't need to see a cursor and they can use your entire computer, your entire software and deliver the same results that we do in a regular day to day life. Now, using a phone, every phone today is accessible. So it's a phone talking to the blind and give him instructions of what are the selections that are available for him. So world is becoming accessible and it is very much important that we also, you know, include them into our day to day routine as well. Let's say, uh, so I, uh, so I was recently at an NGO. Uh, so that boy, he's a, a 15 year boy. Uh, he was walking around with a smart glass and a phone and wearing earphones. And I asked him, what do you do with this uh, walking around in the NGO? He said, so whenever I see some noise, I take a picture and it will describe to me. And I said, how does it happen? So he was near a play zone uh, and he took a picture and it described that there are two boys sitting on a swing. Person on the left is wearing white shirt, blue pant, and person on the right is wearing black shirt, blue jeans. So how incredible that experience that person has. So he can really connect with the uh, society. Today, a blind person going to a conference, right? He can know what is happening around him by simply taking an image, a photograph. He can know what is an expression of people standing there. What is the behavior happening there? So someone with uh, standing in a suit, uh, hand raised, Someone is just sitting and looking at phone. So that kind of cues are also shared to the a person with visual disabilities that can make him easy to connect. So that is how AI has been helping. Now the another uh, major challenge that comes is as a young population, young uh, generation, we all so much focus on technology building, but we don't include the technology building with accessibility in it. So today when you build any technology, so many people want to get into startup. So today any solution or technology that you build has to be inclusive, has to be, even your websites have to be inclusive. So any person can go and can access, can get information. Because you may think that it's a small population that is not visible, so you don't care. But India has a very big population, very big market. Even those Facebook ads that you may run, right? They are also inclusive. There is an audio description attached to those videos to cater to such a big population. Now that is where we all need to focus and we have to take India together. We cannot leave anybody behind when we say India has to grow. All the section of the society have to grow. And that's where we all have to contribute and grow together. And when I just like to end by saying that we have to make world accessible, empowering, and have to be singular. Thank you.